guys, an average recon here, and I am proud to present to you the best inventory system for an RPG, or like a creative game like Minecraft or something, but the best inventory system um, on Project Spark. I named the level RPG Inventory, because that's what it is. Now, with it, you can, so far there are two types of items, uh, weapons and armor. With those, you can, in the inventory system, in the inventory, you can drag and drop the items, you can swap them, you can equip them, and you can pick and, you can drop them and pick them up. And that is better than any other system out there except for my Minecraft. But even in my Minecraft, you can't even drop items. And in this, you can. I figured it out. So, press I. There it is. You see it's a 9x9 nine nine grid. You can always, it's always expandable. So easy to uh, add more boxes. There's a helm, body, and leg spot for your armor. And there's a weapon spot for your weapon, obviously. This is the area where you drag the icons if you want to drop them. And this is your character. Oh, in bottom left, there's health. You'll see uh, momentarily how adding, how putting on armor increases your max, maximum health. So let's just pick them all up, pick all these items up. To pick them up, you just run into them. You don't have to press anything. And here is the inventory system. Now, really quick, I'd like to show you how uh, how the system automatically senses that, like, it automatically puts the items you picked up in the first available spot. So check this out. See how it didn't, like, see how all the top spaces are filled up first? Works really well. So watch, instead of the uh, body ending up here, it's going to end up in spot number two, just like that. Now, uh, the next feature is, well, you already saw dropping, is swapping. So as you see, uh, any icon can swap with any icon, and that's really nice for inventory management. You can equip armor. Now, uh, pay attention to the bottom left. When I put body into the body spot, the max health goes up by 15. Now this value can be adjusted to however you want. And even the effect of like armor can be adjusted. So instead of raising your max health, it could possibly lower the damage taken. Lower the percent damage taken. You can add legs and you can add a helm. Now, the only thing I have not added, and I don't feel this is necessary, but the only thing, the only thing is you can place the helm in the body spot. Now, as you saw, though, um, you don't get the same effects. In fact, you get no effects. And you also saw how taking your helm off uh, takes the health away that you used to have. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, you can, you can place them anywhere, unfortunately. But uh, the, they only work if they're in the correct spot. So I figure, th I figure it does not matter at all that you can place the helm at the legs. Um, but let's put these all on. Unfortunately, there's no visual. Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can make your own custom armor, or you can somehow, like, destroy the current character and replace him with a character with a helmet. But then you'd need a character, you need a custom character for every single armor combination. And that's just not realistic. Now guys, let's check out equipping weapons. So check this out. Wow, that was a fail. You drag the sword in the weapon slot and he automatically equips the sword. And when you drag the uh, bow over, he automatically equips the bow. And when you shoot, you got a bow, you're shooting with a bow, you replace the sword the bow with the sword and now you have a sword it works really well guys that's the whole inventory system I hope you enjoyed it it works so well just everything about it oh my god I can't wait to implement the uh, dropping and picking up items into my minecraft level I hope you enjoyed it guys um 
Oh, now. Now, uh, why I am not publishing this? There are two huge reasons. Well, one's a little bigger than the other. <sighs> I'm going to stop playing for a little while um, and just talk. The reason is... The main reason... Actually, let's go with the uh, smaller reason first. The smaller reason is I only have five spots to upload, and they're all taken. Now, that kind of sucks, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is with, with items, with assemblies, like this could be, uh, a player could go into my published level, create an assembly... So basically, uh, use multi-select, select every single item, and save it as an assembly. He could go into his own level, um, place the, that assembly, and I would get literally zero credit. So that kind of sucks. Now, when Team Dakota implements um, publishing sharing assemblies... If he did that same thing, if he took my assembly and my shared assembly and put it into his own level, I would get credit. A lot of credit, actually. So I'm, I'm going to publish this, but I'm going to publish it as an assembly so, so it doesn't take an upload spot. Now, this is obviously just an overview. I have not gone into the code at all. I'll show you it, but I, I don't have time today. And it, it would be like literally a 30 minute video if I went over the code, but I will. I promise I will. I, soon. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe MLK day. I, I'll have time. I'll definitely have time. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, this is the code, by the way. <laughs> Lots of it. But, yeah, it's not simple at all. But it's not convoluted. I've organized it. So it makes sense. Uh, so tomorrow, guys, I will hopefully make the video, um, make a tutorial. Like, that was uh, requested. But for now, here is an overview of the best inventory system in Project Spark. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you agree with me. I mean, it's really indisputable. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the tutorial. See you guys later.